Hello guys, right now we are on number 8, we will talk about constraint to a barrier. We have, at first thing, we have to know what is a barrier in constraint layout. And right now I got a definition for the barrier. Barrier, it can be a fence or other obstacle that prevents movement or access. So here is the picture for the barrier. Barrier it can be this kind of things, and this, and we use it uh, uh, to let the car cannot uh, passing by or or passenger. So here is the definition in a constraint layout. Barrier is kind of an invisible invisible line like guideline it is invisible and barrier it also doesn't define its own position instead barrier position moves based on the position of the visual constraint to it so barrier it doesn't has uh, like uh, it it own position but the position is based on the view that const uh, constraint to it. Like here, we have a view A and B, and we have a barrier, and also we have view C. And view C, uh, right now it uh, here is the barrier. So as you can see that uh, view A or view B it doesn't uh, crossing the barrier is uh, it's it's next uh, view a is next to barrier and then uh, and then view c so it's not crossing but example because we are use a constraint between view a and view c if view b is uh, wider than this one it gonna be uh, crossing or overlap so if you use barrier it's it will not uh, crossing and for for this case you know here is the second picture that talk about barrier barrier is can have you know even uh, view b is wider than view a uh, for some uh, when user switching the localization you know some language uh, the translation example like uh, in English is short short but when we translate it to into another language it might be longer than English words so it will be uh, overlap or you uh, B and you C will overlap each other but if you use the barrier so it will not overlap it will be automatically uh, still have uh, the barrier between and the view B and view C will not overlap each other. So right now let's start with coding to understand more clearly. We have a uh, tree view. It can be example like uh, I think tree view. It can be wrap content. Mm. Okay, I think you can just uh, view view wrap content as well and I want the background can change the color here I want it red and I can strain it to the start constraint no start start parent and then top can strain it to the top parent and I think this uh, the view is better. 
it's because it has a uh, owner width and height so I just place uh, some text hello world give it some padding small and then text size text color white okay so I do some margin margin uh, medium margin medium look right right now and then we will give an id id um i think uh, tv1 tv1 and then we will have another view another the views this one gonna be tv2 and I want it to place bottom of the TV one top top to the bottom of ID TV one move the parents like right it looks great this is is uh, this is me and then we got another text view and we want the text view to have a barrier take three and we got some large text no it's not rendered correctly. Uh, start. Start to the error of T1. And move the parents. Talk to the bottom. I want it uh, top to the top up. I want to place it equally with the top hello world. So I'm gonna talk. Mm. And then I want it to constrain to the end of the parents. Okay, right now it's already but in order that a constraint to stretch from this side to this side we need to use a zero dp for constraint L. Um, and right now we it's not a place equally to the hello world because we have uh, some margin so I remove it mm -hmm. and I give margin start around 16 dp so right now it, it looks great but what happened why you know it's it has the text it's long but it doesn't appear so what sh we should do so let's uh i think force refresh yeah mm -hmm. render problem refresh it's still yeah it's work here is the text you know it's pretty long so I give some max length 
max length 500 characters uh, see so right now mm, view right now we have a hello world and we have a, a tv3 this one the description that it's constrained to the left or uh, to the right side of the hello world so example when when you look to this one it looks great right it, it looks fine so what happened if uh, this view is uh, gonna be uh, long or uh, wider than this one so what happened so let i change some kit this is me and my friend this is me and my friend as you can see it's overlap each other is uh, view this view is under this view so you know it's uh, very bad that in the in the screen and then you cannot see this one so here to solve this problem you can build a linear layout and then you place this to you in inside it so we'll uh, solve this issue but uh, in construct layout we have a, a barrier barrier can fix uh, can help barrier can help us to fix this issue so let let's start to do it this is me and my friend so in order to create a barrier you can do it by coding in the xml or just use the design for me i combine each i combine uh, design and coding so go to helpers and then look, we're looking for a barrier with the call so right now we have a barrier but we don't have any reference so i want a tv one the hello world in this view i want it to has in the vertical barrier so right now it's already has the ref the re has the reference you can see constraint reference ids so v1 and v2 it has and then what we will do is that we need to define the direction of a barrier so let's go to design and then you click on it and you change the direction what you want you want the direction from top from start from end from bottom something like that for me i want the barriers to position at the end is a you can check the description you know the barrier it doesn't has own position but instead barrier position moves based on the position of view constraint to it so we right now have to view that constraint to it we have tv1 hello world and this view so you need to give the direction so that the barrier will be placed it can be you want it to be at the start or from the left from the right or from the top or something like that for me i want it to place at the end of the two views or at, at the end so it's correct but why it still overlap each other why the barrier is 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 uh, cutting this one because um, we constrain the tv3 to the to the right side of the hello world so you need to remove the constraint so for on mark command and then click so right now it's already removed the constraint but you need to 
uh, you need to constrain it to the barrier so right now it's already has the barrier so but it really close i need to add some margin for the t3 margin start medium uh, it looks great right so i close the design view attribute see example if i remove some text what happened see it uh, the barrier is uh, come after that you know it's not allowed to you to overlap each other okay this is me mm -hmm. wow it's a so smart this is this is mm -hmm. I need to change some text uh, some I need to change color <laughs> what happened why this one is overlap each other still overlap oh because we actually the start constraint of the tv3 start to the end start to the end of tv2 oh it's not yet your constraint to the barrier so you should change it to barrier and barrier is doesn't has the uid yet so we need to give some id ID and then barrier okay so add ID barrier uh, the issue is gone <laughs> because we doesn't have the, the ID of the barrier and then we actually last moment we constrain it to the the ends and constraint of the uh, TV2 this is so right now we have uh, we are correct we are so let testing again this is me and my friend my friend my friend mm. as you can see that barrier prevents the two views to crossing the barrier or prevent from the red box to crossing the barrier see it's pretty helpful so right now to, this view is longer so if I remove it it will automatically understand what it should look to and to prevent the overlapping as you can see this view is shorter but it's still not overlap so it will depend this TV to you is this one is wider it barrier it will place in next to this view and this one if this view is uh, wider so we are placing at the end of the wider one so that's all for the for the barrier so